What's going on black and red crew welcome back to the channel I wanted to make an update video on the Star Wars pinball model that I built some months back I'll leave a link to that video right up here if you haven't seen it yet it is a Roker like Star Wars wooden pinball build uh, very very similar to the Roker pinball build but this one had a lot of issues with it and I wanted to come back and show you how I corrected most of those issues, including the pop bumpers that weren't working. Now, if you watch the video, you see that only one of my three pop bumpers would work on this pinball machine. And for the life of me, I could not figure out what the problem was and I couldn't get the other ones to work. Well, now I've fixed that. I have all three pop bumpers working. I'm gonna show you what the problem was, what the problem is with yours if you're having the same issue uh, so that you can fix it and get all your pop bumpers working correctly. I'm gonna go ahead and start though with the, um, the shooter lane issue that I had with the ball would pop back up on top of the plunger. If you have this and you're playing it, you know what I'm talking about. The ball uh, doesn't make it all the way down the shooter lane. It rolls back and it'll pop back up on top of the plunger and then it's stuck on there and you have to shake the the machine you gotta lift it up to get the ball to come back off the plunger uh, let's go ahead and get a look down on that and I'll show you what I did to fix that alright this is what I'm talking about right here uh, The here's the plunger I, you can see it coming out there when I push it in now the ball would go up the shooting lane it would roll back down and jump on top of the plunger so what I did was I took scrap pieces of wood from some of these models and I cut a couple of blocks and I showed that on the original video that I glued them to the sides just over the plunger on either side so the ball couldn't get back on top but it looked kind of ugly. So then I went in and I cut another just flat piece and shaved it down and sanded it until it would fit right inside there. And so then I glued it in there uh, right underneath the acrylic piece. This piece is acrylic right here. Right underneath the acrylic piece so it looks nice and neat. And uh, problem solved, the ball no longer pops on top of the plunger. Now on the Roker pinball machine, they put a piece of clear acrylic right over the plunger so that wouldn't happen, but they didn't do it on this one. Uh, the second issue I had was the ball getting stuck right here in the trough. Uh, let's see if we can get a better look at that. Here we go. So you can see the line here between the play field and the trough. Uh, the separation between the wood. Now when I got this built, the, tr the trough was slightly higher than the play field. Just a little bit. Just enough though, when the ball would come down, it would get stuck right here on the line. And it wouldn't go on down into the trough and back into the shooter lane so what would happen was you would have to try to lift the machine up to get the ball to go on down in there and sometimes it would just rock back and forth and the sensors are right here that score your lost ball so then you would end up losing another ball or sometimes a couple balls so it really sucked so what I ended up doing is I had to get this play field slightly higher than the trough I didn't want to lower the trough because you want that you want that angle so the ball will roll down into the shooting lane. So I ended up having to raise the play field up just a little bit so that the ball every single time will drop down in there just like that. Let me get it back out so I can show you with it moving even slower. So even slower, the ball always drops down in because now it drops off the play field onto the trough and then rolls in. So no longer does it get stuck here ever. It always rolls down the trough back into the shooter lane every single time. Okay, and so I'm gonna show you what I did to get that play field lifted up just a little bit. As you can see, you can see the dark line there. That's the play field lifted up just a hair, just enough for that ball to drop off of it. So I'm going to show you now what I did to get that play field lifted up. All right, so now here we are underneath the uh, the game board here. And here's the play field, and here is the trough. So I what well, all I did was I put a little pressure on the play field. I cut a piece, a little scrap piece of wood, 
again, if you if you build these models, you have tons of the wood stuff left. I just cut a little scrap piece here. I pushed the play fill, just pushed it in, just where it was just a you know not even a millimeter, just a little bit deeper than the trough. And then I put a little glue on here and glued this board in and pushed it right up against the play field and just held it for a minute or two until it set and that fixed that issue completely. Now the play field sits just higher than the trough on the other side so the ball can drop down on the trough and then roll back into the shooter lane. Problem solved there. All right, now let's get back to the other side and we will talk about those pop bumpers. All right, guys, now here are the three pop bumpers right here. Ooh, you gotta be careful with this one. You can easily break uh, this X-Wing, so be very careful with it. Uh, here are the three pop bumpers. There's one right here, one right here, and one right here. Now this bottom one is the only one that would work. These two here, I could not get them to work for anything. They just would not work. And the way these work, if you know anything about them, there's a little metal you can see it underneath them, that metallic looking piece. It is stuck to the board. And then in the back, there's a screw that goes through it, a bolt that goes through to connect it to the other side. So when the ball rolls on the metal mesh and contacts the metal underneath the pop bumper, it completes the circuit, making it go down like that. But for some reason, only this one would work. These two would not work. Now, I didn't figure this out, guys. Uh, sorry about the camera here. I have it down so I can show inside the, the game. I didn't figure this out myself. I couldn't figure it out. I was to the point where I just thought there was something wrong with the circuit board, that something wasn't right. Maybe there was a connection that wasn't right in the circuit board. Uh, but he posted a picture on the Roker fan page on Facebook of his completed Star Wars pinball machine that he had painted. And he did a great job. Looks really cool. I'll, I'll put a picture of it right here for you to see. As you can see, it's very cool looking. Uh, if you want to see more pictures of it, you'll have to go to uh, the Facebook Roker fan page. So this guy here, I'll, I'll put it. I'll po put it right up here. Uh, posted uh, did the same cheap knockoff, in my opinion. Flipper action on the Star Wars is lacking. It is the the flippers on here. Uh, to me are the, the really the weak point of it. The rest of it's actually pretty cool. Uh, it just, I wish it had better flippers on it. They work. They work fine. They just don't feel that great. Uh, nowhere near as good as the Roker uh, flippers. But anyways, uh, is lacking. Plus, I have defective bumper. I have a defective bumper. Contacted Amazon. Don't know what company manufactured the item. Yeah, it's hard to figure out what man and what who manufactured this. Uh, but apparently he had one effective bumper. Uh, uh, Justin Daniel, he's the guy who posted the original post, painted the Star Wars uh, pinball machine so coolly. Uh, he said, definitely a design flaw with the bumper system as the mounting screws that go through the L brackets to mount them are too long and will go into the bumper too far, the blue tape part. Only one of mine worked during testing halfway through the build and figured that out and bagged the screws out. All worked just fine. I was like, what? Is that the issue? Is there a screw shorting out the system? So I grabbed my uh, pinball machine, took the back back off, flipped it over, and uh, let's get a look at it real quick. All right, let's get in here. Here's what he's talking about. Here's the bottom of the pop bumpers. And there's an L bracket here here and here, and these hold the pop bump bumpers onto the board. And they also have one wire going into each one uh, that are part of the connection. So this is a white wire into this one, there's a black wire from this one, and a yellow wire from this one. And they all run into the board right here. Now there's two screws that hold the L bracket on. And I'm gonna show you right in here, if you can see, let me get the camera down in there. You can see that screw right here in the corner, right here. I know it's very hard to see. Let's see if I can get some more light in there. You can kind of see it right there. This is the one that works, so it's not going all the way in uh, to the coil. 
That's uh, the coil underneath and they wrapped it with the blue tape to help protect it. It's not going all the way in the coil. This is the one that worked. These two right here, I had to go in and back that top screw out. Now the bottom screw seems to be okay because it has the wire connector underneath it so it keeps the screw from going in as far. So you're gonna have to back out that top screw like this one. I'm gonna show you on this one so we can see it better. Uh, I didn't have to do anything with this one because this one worked, but you need to take this screw out and put a small washer behind it. Now he just backed his out a little bit and left it, which is fine as long as it's still sturdy in there. I backed mine out, I took mine all the way out and I put a small, uh, just a small washer. If you build a lot of these kind of builds, um, uh, especially like Agora models and stuff like that, you're going to end up with a lot of tiny little washers. Uh, I just put a small washer behind the uh, the two screws on the other two and put them back in and voila, they all work perfectly fine. So this is the issue, guys. If your pop bumpers aren't working on here, it's because these screws are too long. They're going all the way through the blue tape and they're grounding out on the coil causing these not to work. So that's what you gotta do to fix it. Very simple fix. A little difficult at this point, unless you take the sides off. I just took one of my uh, small bits here out of my award-winning Fantic electric screwdriver. I'll leave a link to it down in the description down below. And I was able to get underneath and uh, back those screws out and put the washers on and put the screws back in. Did it on both of them. This one's a little easier to get to. This one's so close to the board here, you definitely have to have something like this uh, to get in. If you got like a really small Phillips head screwdriver, you might be able to get it in there, but I had to use this. Uh, otherwise, you gotta take this whole back piece off to get in, into it. Uh, to me, it was easier just to use this to get to the screw. Again, guys, fixed. I will show you now all of them working and it is so awesome. So let's go ahead and get back over. First, I'm gonna go ahead and put my pieces back on here that I took off. All right, once again, we have this fixed so they don't get stuck anymore. Fall in every single time, no issues. All right, let's go ahead and get this plugged up and I'll show you those pop bumpers working. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on the pop bumper so you can get a good look at those. All right, guys, again, here's all the pop bumpers. Let's go ahead and get a ball in here and let's get this thing going. Yes, you can see they're all working. And again, comes back into the shooting lane every time. Come on, get up in there. There we go. You can see them all working. All three of them. Look at that. That's awesome, man. And all those pop bumpers working is a beautiful thing, man. So happy to get... Yes. Oh, they work so well. Okay, so as you can see, all of them are working, and uh, I'm so happy about it. And all right, guys, so, you know, a huge shout out to Justin Daniel on the Facebook page for posting that, man. I was going crazy trying to figure it out. So if you guys have this pinball machine or are planning on getting it, that's the problem. That's the issue. Those screws are too long going through those L brackets. You're gonna just have to back them out, put a little washer behind them so they can't short out against the coil inside there. And your pop bumpers are gonna work perfect, just like they are on mine now. Hopefully that's the issue with yours. It seems to be what the problem is with those pop bumpers. Uh, but uh, hope some of this helped you guys out if you've built this and you're having some issues, and uh, or if you're planning on building it, now you know what to do so you don't have that same problem. Uh, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. Stroll on over there and hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel out immensely. And I'll see you next time. I'm Chewy Solo, and this is Black and Red Builds. See ya! Woo! Now that 
is a whole lot of fun right there.